This is Sir Tap Tap. Long story short, I'd like to delete this file. I'd like to collect some feedback about what sort of stuff people like and dislike about my channel currently. Like, um, one thing I've always really hated to do is when I have these long gaps between actually playing the playing games and uploading videos and stuff. Um, so what I'd like you guys to do is just leave a comment and just let me know what do you like, what don't you like, any suggestions you have, anything you'd like to see. Um, like, and if you see somebody else that has the exact same comment, like you can just leave a like on their, or a thumbs up on their comment, but otherwise, like, just as much feedback as possible would be really awesome. Um, I don't know, one, I guess I'll just go over all of the areas I'm thinking about doing new stuff or changing stuff, and just comment on pretty much whatever. One of the things, um, a big thing I've been thinking about is update schedule. I don't have anything formal yet. My current plan has just been to make sure I get a video out every day until, well, actually more than one video out every day, so I get a backlog for a while, just to get back in the practice and make sure, you know, in case of a rainy day, I've got stuff to upload for, uh, my current plan is two weeks of content so that if I just had to completely stop for some reason. I still be able to provide new content for two weeks. Um, I don't know if I really want to up to upload once every day. Like, is that too much for you guys? Is that just fine? Probably will not be doing over one video a day because that's a big time commitment. But one a day might be possible. Boink. And, um, so, yeah, does that schedule work for you guys? Is that too much, too often, not enough? Um, and how much of a problem is, I'm uh, just morbid curiosity, how much of a problem is the, has the current schedule been? I know I, I'm sure I've lost some people's attention and all that. Um, because I've gone a couple, like, I've had a couple month-long hiatuses and nasty shit like that. I hope to not do that again any time remote in the remotely near future. I really do want to step it up and actually get some stuff out there for you guys. I just also don't want to put out, you know, subpar content. I don't... You know. But for right now, all I'm worrying about is actually getting stuff out there, getting back into practice. Because the first few videos I recorded, like, every video I did, I screwed up some random thing. Not like, hardcore majorly, but much more so than I usually do. And it was very annoying. Ah, speaking of annoying. I don't think I've screwed anything up that majorly in the last, you know, week or so. But, oh god, ugh. Yeah, don't clip inside of him. Yeah, getting back in the practice, that's something I will have to work out myself, the whole editing thing. Though I am, I do sort of wonder, do you guys care about, I don't really like doing the whole fancy editing and spending lots of time on that and annotations. Um, I just like getting in, doing my commentary, getting out. Um, do people want to see more, you know... Fancy production values, big transitions, and I don't know what bullshit. If you want to see something that's not completely pointless, I guess let me know. Aw, oh, man. I used to for sure be able to kill that guy with the kicks. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the hardcore editing crap and showing off my title card and not content because 
My problem with that is, if I show you the title card for like 10 seconds, I'm robbing you of 10 seconds of your life every video, and you're going to be watching that a lot in the case of, you know, a Let's Player. That's also why I removed... For a while, I was removing the Let's Play part of my video's titles, you know, just omitting that. Um, and I decided maybe I should leave that on just to give, you know, search... People on search you know, an impression that, oh, this is the Let's Play video. So I've tentatively been putting that back on. Um, that's another thing I was going to ask about. Titles? Do you guys give a crap about titles? Because I've been lazy and just been titling name of the game, number of the video. I think that's a bit too lazy. So, you might have noticed I've gone back to um, a snide remark plus the title of the video plus let's play in exactly opposite of that order actually <laughs> so you know it'll be let's play name of the game number and then some smart ass comment I'm usually pretty good at finding a smart ass comment so that's kind of what I do um, so I guess I could keep doing that so is that is that something you guys care about just Pretty much anything in this video that I a that I mention, I'm wondering, like, does this actually matter? Because I do try and watch my YouTube analytics and stuff, but they really only tell me so much. I do like when I see that a video, a certain video, has lots of likes. Because I mean, generally that's sort of helpful. Like a disproportionate number of likes versus views tends to mean people actually liked it. Funny that. Um, Though, when a video has lots of dislikes, I don't always really have any idea what that's about. I don't usually get stuff with lots of dislikes either, but I mean... Just, I'd like to gather some constructive criticism and, you know... Just feedback in general. Because I don't really get that much of that. Uh, on I do read all of my comments, by the way. Uh, Pretty much every day I'll go to YouTube and I'll open my inbox and read all the recent comments. On occasion I'll miss a comment if more than one comment was made on a video, just because of how YouTube's um, the inbox works. But I do try and make sure I read absolutely everything. So feel free to leave feedback on just any video, but this one in particular would be useful. So, in addition to the title and schedule, I've also been wondering, um, like, if there's more kinds of content than just, you know, the Let's Play people would like. Like, I was thinking maybe short reviews, where I just, I show you a little bit of the game, but it's mostly talking about the game, not smart-ass comments, not me struggling to beat the game for the very first time on camera, because that... The way I usually do videos, honestly, I don't like spending too much time outside of just actually recording it, because that's a much larger time commitment, but if I'm going to beat the game, then record it, then produce it. So you see lots of first playthroughs, and sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't work out so well. Um, so if you think that's it's alright, like if you like my first impressions, and you know, just random snark, that's, you know, that's certainly an option, but I'm also wondering if people would appreciate more, at least for larger games, like just more proper review. Like, I was thinking of doing something, um, talking about Dead Space 3 for a bit, you know, relatively low snark, um, you know, maybe some jokes in there, but mostly, you know, actually reviewing the content of the game, and maybe even giving a score. I hate the whole 10 point scale thing, but maybe I could give you some sort of recommendation there. And it would be fairly short compared to maybe my normal videos, like, I don't know, I talk until I don't have anything to talk about, but it would probably be, you know, 15 minutes or less. I don't know if I'd even be able to talk for 15 minutes about just about the game, not playing it. So, probably shorter than any of my normal Let's Plays, for sure. And, in addition to reviews, I was thinking of streaming. Um, 
I don't know if that's something people would want though, or... Because I figured out how I can stream, so I'm like capable of streaming. I have a Twitch account. Um, I didn't actually prepare very much. So I've had very few people actually follow me on Twitch, but I mean, I haven't actually done very much on it either, so... I'm not making much judgment on that. I'm just wondering, do people actually care about that? Because I can't stream on YouTube, unfortunately. So, it would have to be on Twitch, and then I, if it was worth uploading, I'd upload the whole thing, probably, to uh, YouTube afterwards. But I thought maybe a live thing would be sort of fun. You know, then I could you know, interact with people in the chat a little bit. And, you know, I don't know, Twitch stuff. Um, I don't really know what I would be doing on Twitch. Like, I don't know. If you want, if you want to see me stream on Twitch, let me know what sort of stuff you'd want me to stream. Cause like, to be quite honest, most of the stuff I play, like normally, is not what I let's play. And if I were gonna do streams, I would probably be more playing stuff like Bunny Must Die here. Dead Space 3, games I actually want to play. I know lots of people like competitive games on Twitch. I don't generally enjoy them. Like, League of Legends is big. Um, you will probably never be seeing me playing a uh, MOBA game. You know, StarCraft 2, any of that crap. Anything where the majority of the gameplay is other people hating you to death and verbally abusing you. That's not really my favorite genre. I mean, it's a very good verbal abuse simulator, but that's just not really my it's not really my thing. But I was thinking of trying out the Shot Mania thing, though my first impressions were not great. But yeah, that was another thing I was thinking of. Um, despite mostly showing off the Flash games on here, you know, I do play a lot of you know mainstream games and stuff. Would like, would a short series on, like, games like... I've recently been playing Dead Space 3, Borderlands 2, Dishonored, um, Nintendo Land, Uncharted 3, you know, standard stuff. Would anyone be interested in watching that sort of stuff? Maybe, like, a shorter series? Like, I'm not sure what I would all show off in that. That's the problem with those. Like, aside from a review, I could totally do reviews if people think that would be interesting. Oh, and that's another thing. What? Like, when I do my... when I do the Flash games and stuff, usually I would say I've got maybe... I've got a fairly small percent of review in there, maybe like 10% review. Um, a very healthy, maybe like 40-50% of snark and jokes and generally making fun of stuff. Um, definitely some dead air unfortunately because I'm doing stuff you know for the first time ever. And you know also just random first impressions and stuff. What percentage of each of those do you like guys like to see? Like do you prefer more of the review stuff or the random snark? I know lots of people love the random snark. Um, or do you like the first impression stuff? Like, would people like to see me play the game first? Like, would... Like, when I'm doing some random Flash game, would people prefer that I know what I'm doing, or that I just jump in head first and figure stuff out on camera? Because I can see arguments either way on that one. Some of my, some of my personal favorites have been completely blind runs. Like, um... One Chance, and, um, what was that? Me and My Dinosaur, and something else that went really well. Oh, um, one of my favorites was actually, um, um, Legend of the Sunfish or something? Revenge of the Sunfish. That is actually one of the very few videos I have actually gone back and watched in full myself. <laughs> I don't generally re-watch my own videos except to do editing stuff, and then I'll just watch little clips, but I have watched the Sunfish one in its entirety because it is hilarious. <laughs> just, that game is so ridiculous. Oh, and I found that creator actually has more games, and they all look that bad. Like, maybe not quite- Ah, Oh shit. Damn it. 
Maybe not quite that epically ridiculous, but I still want to do at least one or two more of those. Oh god. That's how you do that. I still need to finish Bunny Must Die. That's, um... One of the reasons I haven't... The big reason I usually stop recording stuff is just... It's kind of a lot of pressure for some reason, like... Bunny Must Die, I want to do well when I'm showing this off. Um, so, I... I don't really just sit down and just play it because whatever. And so, you know, it it feel ends up feeling like work. And, I mean, it kind of is in a way. But that just sort of makes me not want to play it for a while and then it just piles up and... I don't know. I just end up not doing it for a while. And I don't want to keep doing that. So... I want to really know what you guys want to see. And... That in and of itself will take off some of the pressure. And I want to get back into the groove of doing the editing and recording. And, you know... Making a pile of videos to, you know, mess with later. It seems like a good way to handle this. I've been trying to record at least more, more than one video a day currently. I have never missed that jump ever in my life. What the hell? Also, until recently, I did not know you could break those spikes, which is very useful to know. Oh yeah, in case I didn't make it clear, um, what percentage of... Um, Okay, I'm gonna split games into three categories here. Random flash games, indie games, like Bundy Must Die, here, that may not necessarily be free or, you know, online in any way. Um, so there's indie games like this, there's flash games, and like, normal retail games. Like, possibly big or mid-sized publisher. What percentage of each of those would you guys like to see? Like. Mostly, I don't like to do the big name stuff because, I mean, everyone's already seen it. But, you know, that's why I, I would probably only do reviews of stuff like that because you don't need to see the whole game. There are a few rare exceptions of stuff, ugh, of games that I really do enjoy that I. Th ah, shit. That maybe I think are underrated or whatever reason I might want to show them off. But generally speaking, I do like sticking with the indie and flash games just so they get a little bit of exposure. And also, crap. Honestly, just so I can... One thing I like about the flash games is that I can get in there fairly early and make a video. And, you know, that gets some new people. And I do like... I'm not all about the view counts and shit, but I do like reaching some new people. Move, you stupid pumpkin! Um, so I gotta concentrate here. So yeah, that's kind, that's kind of why I do my current thing. I also do it because the Flash games are pretty short, and I like being able to show off the whole thing. Though I've got quite a few abandoned games in my backlog, like frickin' Amnesia. I was, I'm sorry, I was very disappointed in that game, and I probably won't be finishing it. Though if anyone knows, if I quit the game less than an hour or so before the end, I'll go ahead and finish it if anyone has any idea how far into the game I was in, you know, my last video. I have no idea how much longer the game is, and I don't really care anymore, but, you know, if it was less than an hour, I guess I'd consider it. I'm sorry, I was just really disappointed by that whole thing. It was not nearly as fun as I was expecting. And not even that fun to make fun of. Mainly my main problem is it's so long and boring. I've never found a horror game to be that boring. Like, there are some horror games that are like, roll my eyes ridiculous, but they're not like, wow, this is just boring. And that's never a good thing. Well, thanks to that shark game, my ears kind of really hurt, so I should probably... I'm gonna take off these headphones for a while. But, 
Yeah, please do leave comments with whatever, you know, feedback you have. And I'll definitely consider pretty much everything I get, all the feedback I get. It's like, I don't know. I'm just wondering what I should do. Oh, and while I'm thinking of it, I do have a game cap. I do have a capture card now, so I can do console games. Um, still need to learn how to make that work. Cause I was recording Worms the other day, and it didn't come out quite well. I dropped a lot of frames. Oh, uh, I should have mentioned this when I was talking about different kinds of content. But along with doing streaming or reviews, I was also thinking of just adding like maybe my reactions or thoughts on like pertinent gaming news like um like there was this whole kerfluffle about gun violence and video games I kinda really wanted to chew someone's head off on that um do I have the wall jump? yes I do, of course I do how could I forget that? um so that was another thing I was thinking of doing like, probably not quite vlogs type stuff. Well, I guess it would be like a, you know, video vlog, but, you know, gaming news or anything, um, maybe even just about gaming news, because, like, um, I was thinking about something, ah, oh, crap, you know, writing or saying something pissy about the whole, um, the made-up Dead Space cancellation story. Um, in case you heard the rumor, no, Dead Space is not being cancelled. Um, there was some bullshit news stories about that, and it got retracted within the day, but still, I was annoyed with that. I was also thinking of that. Just let me know what kind of content you guys want to see, how often you want to see it, um, and what about my current content you like, don't like, what you want to see more of, less of, you know, standard shit. Just let me know. And I am going to get this stupid thing. Oh, I didn't even need to stop time. Now, because I'm almost dead. Yay! Sorry, I just wanted to get that on camera to be a badass. And I will finish Bunny Must Die. I think I already said that. But still, I will finish Bunny Must Die and off. Um, a couple of people are very, very much looking forward to the last episode of Off. Um, I don't know. The thing about Off that's just off putting for me is. It's long, and I don't really know what I'm doing, so... Like, it's my first time... Well, my only time playing through, and doing all the puzzles on camera and stuff is pretty stressful, and it's like... Now I've got to go back and find multiple endings, though two of them are very easy. And someone has offered help on finding the last one. I know some of you are looking for the five elements or something to get the best ending, or the secret ending, or whatever. I will be showing those on camera once I find them, so, you know, I will be, I probably won't finish that walkthrough. Yes! I have never gotten that trick to work 100% like that, and I do it on accident. That's ridiculous. Anyway, I guess I've talked your ears off for long enough. I liked him better when he talked in German. I really do like the remake of this, the, oh god, no, right, the localization by, but I like the, um, the fan translation was obviously not as good in, you know, the standard sense, but it loses a lot of jokes that I really liked, which is unfortunate. I guess I'll kill this guy. 
so violent. Right. Crap. I have the wrong weapon for this guy. Whatever, I won't kill him. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. You guys are why I do all this crap, pretty much. Um, so, please do make sure to leave a comment if you can, or thumbs up another comment that sums up your words exactly. But I just like hearing from you guys, and I wish I heard a bit more. Like, I like people just saying, hey, you're awesome, and stuff like that, but a little more substance to the feedback would be good, too.